Here are recent felony charges filed in Beltrami County District Court in Minnesota. 33-year-old Tyler Bozier of Waite Park has been charged with a trio of felonies, possession of 25 grams or more of meth, possession of a firearm following the conviction of a crime of violence, and felony receiving stolen property. According to court documents, on October 13th, a deputy spotted a stolen GMC Sierra parked along Big Turtle Lake Access Road. The driver was identified as Bozer. A search of the vehicle also found three 22 caliber rifles and 40 grams of suspected meth. The passenger, Jamie Ruck, uh, no booking photo, also of uh, Waite Park, was allegedly in possession of 14 grams of meth. Ruck has been charged with felony possession of more than 10 grams of drugs and felony receiving stolen property. And 35-year-old Daniel Hammer of Bemidji has been charged with felony domestic assault. According to court records, at 6.15 p.m. on October 12th, Bemidji police responded to the area of Library Park and found a female and three small children lying on the ground. The female stated uh, she was sitting at the picnic table with him when he flipped the table over on her and her three children in a nearby parked car saw the incident and ran to her. Hammer fled on foot and was arrested running down the alley behind the Arco station. And 22-year-old Verna Fairbanks of Bemidji has been charged with felony theft of motor vehicle. According to court records, on October 13th, police spotted a vehicle in Bemidji that had been reported stolen from Red Lake. Fairbanks was the alleged driver. And in Roseau County District Court, 38-year-old James Eason of St. Paul has been charged with felony threats of violence, felony assault, and two counts of misdemeanor assault. According to court documents, on the night of uh, October 12th or 13th, a female reported Eason entered her camper at the West Side Trailer Court in Roseau, picked her up by the neck, and slammed her on the floor. The victim stated she was able to kick him in the groin. He released her, and she got away. And in Polk County District Court, 48-year-old Vernon Daly of Mayville, North Dakota, has been charged with three felony counts of threats of violence. According to court documents, he allegedly made threats to people at an apartment building on October 15th that included uh, text messages that stated in part, quote, I'm going to kill you all, unquote. And in Clearwater County District Court, uh, charges now filed for two different incidents back in August. 51-year-old Thomas Narvison of Clearbrook has been charged with felony theft. According to court records, on August 18th, Clearbrook police received a report of stolen and damaged property at a city construction site. Over $1,000 of stolen items were recovered at Narvison's home. And 18-year-old Craig Thunder of Gonvick has been charged with three felony counts of criminal vehicular operation bodily harm. According to court records, on August 9th, a deputy responded to a report of a rollover crash at uh, Stockyard Road and 310th Avenue. There were three injured passengers. One wound up paralyzed from the waist down. Two others suffered broken arms and abrasions. The report says the vehicle was traveling at a high rate of speed in foggy conditions, hit an approach, and was launched 150 feet before crashing. And in Pennington County District Court, 26-year-old Joshua Rivera of Thief River Falls has been charged with felony assault second degree and misdemeanor assault fifth degree. According to court records, on October 17th, uh, Thief River police were dispatched to Miriam Avenue for an altercation that began over noise in a residence. Rivera allegedly came downstairs and confronted the noisy individuals. Witnesses stated Rivera came downstairs a second time, armed with a baseball bat and a knife. Two individuals were allegedly hit with a baseball bat. One of them also had cuts to their hands and fingers as Rivera allegedly attempted to cut their neck. That person was transported to the hospital for their knife injuries. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.